Hello friends, now let's try to solve the exclusive time of functions. Given the running logs of n functions that are executed in a non-preemptive single-thread CPU, find the, the exclusive time of these functions. Each function has a unique ID start from 0 to n minus 1. A function may be called recursively or by another function. A log is a string has this format. Function ID start or end time step. For example, 0 start 0 means function 0 start from the very beginning of time 0. 0 end 0 means function 0 ends to the very end of time 0. Exclusive time of a function is defined as the time spent within this function. The time spent by calling other functions should not be considered as this function's exclusive time. You should return the exclusive time of these functions sorted by their function ID. Let's see the example. n equal to 2 logs 0 starts 0 and 1 starts 2. 1 ends 5. So in this case, as 1 has ended, we know the time run by 1 should be 5 minus 2 plus 1. That is 4. And the 0 and 6, the total time run by function 0 is 6 minus 5 plus 2 minus 0, that is 3. So how to do this problem? I think this problem statement has a huge signal that we can use a stack to do the things. Because actually a program runs in a call stack. So we will use a stack to simulate this, the uh, progress, a process that will be stack new array, array stack. What should we save on the stack? Uh, we should save the function ID. Then how about uh, how do we know the time run by the function? Say we are at the end of five. Right, this time we know we, we are at 5. How about the previous time? Yes, we, we need a variable. Then <clears throat> let's save the previous time. In this case, we can use the current time minus previous time to get the duration. So we need the previous time. And uh, the result array should be size equal to n, right? In order to get the previous time, so we need uh, handle the first log at first. So that will be string. Why do we need an array? Because this have two columns and we use an array to save that logs. Get there. Split by the column. Okay. And uh, in this case we should uh, start push the function. This function should be s. It's an integer, right? So we should integer value of uh, s is zero. This is the function, and the uh, pre uh, pre will equal to integer value of the s two. The first function will always be the star, right? If not star, how do we do the following things. So therefore into i equal to 1 i less than log dot size i plus plus. The s should now equal to log get i i and then split by the column and the function name should be s integer value of s0 right and uh, the time should be the integer value of s2 okay if the s1 equals to the start this is a new function so in this case we should save the time between current time and the previous time into the previous function so result stack pick plus the current time minus previous time, previous time. 
do not need to plus one because when we start a new function, the time is uh, uh, belong to the new function, not the previous function. And this is time, the prep should update to the time. And uh, because it's a start, so we should push that into a stack, stack push the function. A while if uh, equal to end, we know the top on the stack should be the same function. So the result stack. Okay, if uh, equal to stack pick okay, if the okay the result stack. Should be the same function, right? Mm, top equal to the time minus previous time plus one, because this is inclusive. The start and end are all inclusive. And then prev, oh, do not update the prev. Mm, yeah, we need the prev because in this case we the prev should be the Five plus one, right? Five plus one. And when we meet another end, we should uh, no. The pop. Uh, yes, pop. Time minus pref is six minus five plus one is the one. Yeah, I think it's correct. If I will return the result. Let's see if it's correct. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try it. Non empty. What? Pick. What if? Uh, pick time function. Start. Pick. Okay. So if. Uh, okay. I should make sure the stack is not empty because if. Uh, it's empty. I, I cannot add the time to the previous function. It's not empty. I can do the things. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Happy coding. Bye.